Today's date, October 28, 2024, will be recorded in golden words in the history of Make in India and the Indian military. The reason is that India will finally manufacture the Airbus C-295 in India, and it is possible that India will also export it worldwide in the future. You will see everywhere on social media, C-295, C-295. The facility for C-295 has been inaugurated in Gujarat. The President of Spain visited India and met with Prime Minister Modi. There was a roadshow featuring both leaders, and later they arrived in Vadodara, Gujarat, where the Tata Airbus manufacturing facility was inaugurated. This means made in India for the C-295. Look at this military transport aircraft. You can see a very nice photo of PM Modi holding a model of it. This military transport aircraft is named C-295. Before explaining the importance of this military aircraft, Take a look at this map. All the colorful countries you see have purchased the C-295 military aircraft. Yes, India is included in this list, along with Bangladesh and various other countries around the world, even Canada. You can see that various countries have purchased this aircraft. Now you might ask, with so many countries having purchased it, it seems that almost all continents have bought it except for Antarctica. So, will this aircraft be made by Boeing or some other American company? No, it will not be made by Lockheed Martin or Boeing. This aircraft's design is Spanish, it is a European transport aircraft, and the USA is quite surprised by its design and popularity. Spain is not a major player in defense. You have probably heard very little about Spain producing missiles, tanks, or mini fighter jets. However, their design, the C-295, has become a big hit, with various countries purchasing it, and every military has appreciated this aircraft. India has also already purchased six of these aircraft, which have proven beneficial for the Indian military in terms of operational use and maintenance. So, India decided in September 2021 to sign a contract worth 21,000 crores with the Spanish company, deciding that 16 of these aircraft would be purchased directly from Spain in ready-made condition. However, the remaining 40 aircraft will be manufactured in India. Actually, I won't say that they will be completely manufactured here, but they will be assembled in India. Many aircraft will be ordered, and by the time this order is fulfilled, it will be 2031. By 2031, a total of 56 aircraft will have been delivered to the Indian military. The Indian Air Force will primarily use them, but they can also be quite useful for the Indian Army in major operations. The best part about this aircraft is that it requires a very short runway for takeoff and landing. The C-295 has made quite a splash worldwide, with so many countries purchasing it and generating billions of dollars in revenue for Spain. The reason behind this is that it is a rough and tough aircraft with very low maintenance costs. India has tested these six aircraft, and they are performing well for India. The aircraft's top cruising speed can reach up to 482 km per hour. Additionally, it can carry 71 soldiers or 48 paratroopers, which is a good number. Since it is quite fast, if you need to deploy a large number of troops quickly, you can do so using this aircraft. Imagine when India has over 60 of these transport aircraft. India can send thousands of soldiers to a location within just a few hours, nonstop. Moreover, this transport aircraft is often used for refueling purposes. Suppose tomorrow the Rafale fighter aircraft needs to remain in the air for an extended period for patrol duties or some small-scale war or operation. In that case, if they need refueling, it can be done using the C-295. It is a very versatile aircraft, and since many countries around the world are already using it extensively, you can say it is battle-tested as well. No country has claimed there is a design problem that would require them to cancel their orders or shut down their entire fleet. Every country is happy with it. Your next question might be, okay, this transport aircraft is great, but the Americans haven't been able to create a transport aircraft in this category. The Americans also use transport aircraft from various countries, but they are quite large in size, like the Globemaster. In this category of medium to small aircraft, Spain's C-295 is the best. Now your next question might be, okay, it will be assembled in India, so how many jobs will this create? Let me tell you, when we use the word assemble, it doesn't mean that just three big parts come in, and they are drilled together to create an aircraft in India. No, when it is assembled in India, many small industries and businesses will receive significant contracts. 
Airbus has already started contracts with 37 local suppliers in India, who will provide various small parts so that this aircraft can be manufactured in India. Each C-295 aircraft consists of a total of 14,000 parts, of which 13,000 will be produced in India. This is a significant achievement. Additionally, initially, when these C-295 aircraft are being manufactured in Gujarat, let's assume that one to five aircraft will be built. The local content, the Make in India content, will be 48%. As the numbers increase, once they reach around 30, 35, or 40 aircraft, it is expected that the total local content will be 75%. Therefore, saying that this aircraft will only be assembled in India would be incorrect. A significant portion of its manufacturing will be taking place in India by the end of 2030. You can understand that a foundation is being laid for Indian engineers to gain experience in manufacturing such advanced systems. I'm not saying that India will steal designs or do what China does. Indian engineers can build even more advanced aircraft in the future. This partnership with Spain will grow, and I wouldn't be surprised. You can also see a great photo of PM Modi and the President of Spain here. These small parts, around 14,000 of them, come together to create the C-295 aircraft that is standing behind. It is not a big deal for India and Spain to export this C-295 aircraft to many other countries. Contracts will come from Spain, and both countries can profit. Of course, the Indian government won't get the money. It will go to Tata Advanced Systems. The Indian government will earn through taxes, so this is great for India. This is just the beginning. In the future, you will see this technology associated with the C-295 aircraft being talked about more frequently, along with many positive developments regarding this aircraft. As updates come in the future, I will provide updated videos later. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.